Hi everyone, I'm Alison Rowley, Digital Editor at Creative Head magazine, and today I'm going to be checking in with Alan Kingsland, one of our My Trend Vision Spotlight competitors. Alan works at Xander's Hair Design in Newcastle upon Tyne, and he has been hard at work preparing for the Trend Vision final. Now I'm going to be talking to him a little bit about how he prepared his look, uh, his shoot that is coming up in a few days, I believe, and also joining me will be Alan's boss, Louise Robinson. She's going to be sharing some details about how Trendvision as a whole um, helps their company and the business, and also talking about the impact that Alan making the final has had. All right, let's catch up with them. First question, how has your preparation been going? Um, it's been going really well. I've been working on what I would do for the final since I did the original photograph back for the semi-finals. And I really wanted to evolve that image that I had. So I've constantly been doing new mood boards, I've constantly been researching and I've just got an iPad full of random images now. So yeah, I think I've worked pretty hard. And uh, we're ca catching you just before you shoot, aren't we? Have you, how has yeah. it been sort of prep uh, within the salon team? Has it been you beavering away with your ideas or has Louise chipped in at all with things like model sourcing? Um... Well, to be honest, I've basically just kind of taken all information out of my head and just shouted it at Louise. <laughs> and then um, as far as the model is, I'm actually using the same model that I used for the regionals. He's incredibly handsome. He's a really good model. And I knew I was going to do something that was an evolution of the first image already. But I, obviously, if I was hoping to get through to the finals and yeah, so I've pretty much been ready to go since we entered originally. It's only the um, photographer that we had to change. Yeah, we've got a we've still got a professional photographer coming in to do some images um, for us anyway, and um, we've had to change him. But that might be quite nice to get a bit of a different look anyway. Brilliant. Now <laughs> you're into double figures in the number of times you've entered TVA before. In this this journey uh, in 2020 has been quite different, I'm guessing, from previous times. Um, how have you found competing in such odd circumstances and with all the different changes to the um, entry process and the submissions that you've had to, to submit along the way? I've really enjoyed it. Um, I find it to be obviously very different from what we've done before because Louise has been a finalist herself a few times. And we've had other semi-finalists that I've worked here in the past over the years. So over well, the last 11 years, we've, we're used to trend vision quite well. Um, but I did actually really enjoy sitting during lockdown, having the regional presentation to work on. I think as far as a creative outlet was, it was something that I definitely needed to stop the boredom. But also meant I could really super concentrate as well. So I've actually really enjoyed it. Great. And just to touch upon there, Louise, um, <clears throat> Alan said that you've um, previously finalised and entered Trendvision before. What does the competition mean to Zander's hairdressing and um, why do you encourage staff to enter? Oh, it, it actually means a lot. Um, I've been with uh, Weller for, well, since I opened really, so 12 years, and we've been entering the competition for the last 11. 11 years. Um, I just, I'm creative myself and I just think it's a really good outlet. It's a uh, from the start to the finish, meeting other contestants as well, seeing their work, we're doing the photo shoot, bouncing ideas off each other. And I think, you know, when you're so busy in the salon, it's really, really important to sort of get your creative juices um, going. And it's really good for the business side, um, especially nowadays because social media is a, a big thing and putting the stuff on the websites and on the news pages. Uh, for cl clients, it's great, but also for future clients so they can search for us and. Yes, yeah, so I think it's been a really good platform for us. Great. And Alan touched upon how in lockdown it's, it's provided inspiration. Year after year, do you find that entering Trendvision kind of brings that fresh inspiration into the salon and reinvigorates that creative side for staff as well? Absolutely. To all of the above. We we'll all have different strengths in the salon. So getting together, as I say, we'll watch each other in the salon when we're working, but it's actually getting together and sort of looking at what we, we can do and giving each other really encouragement as well. I just think it's really good in that kind of time as well. Yeah. Alan, have you got any hero products that you're planning to use to craft your uh, final look? Uh, as far as I said, man, product range goes, I'm probably going to use it all because I absolutely adore it. But the one I use most in the salon that I'd definitely be using for the photo shoot is going to be the Sculptor, which is the clear product. It's just, I use it on my own hair. I absolutely love it. So that's my number one. 
but I do have a list of every other single product that I'm going to use on it as well. So everything. <laughs> so we do love said man. We do love said man. <laughs> Um, and not to put you on the spot, but has your uh, finalists award had um, pride of place in the salon in the run-up since you've reopened? Um, we've actually had a refurbishment as well, so I, I, it hasn't actually visited the salon just yet <laughs> because we've been we've spent that much time refurbishing and then cleaning, and obviously the things that we have to keep on top of now with the cleaning, yeah. I've kept it safe in the house next to my TV so I can stare at it every day. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, maybe yeah, it will we be a little friend, hopefully. Yes, down the line. hopefully we'll be joined by one soon. <laughs> yeah. um, you touched upon it uh, a little bit there, Louise. On the business front, the impact that there's been with clients and sort of staff columns when they finalised previously and just through entering and hopefully when the, when the award is on display, um, seeing that as they enter the salon. Can you talk a little bit about how, how that has boosted business, the participation in TVA over the years? Uh, oh, it, it definitely has over the years. Um, a lot of clients now sort of Google people and, and research behind the scenes. I mean, that nobody just rings up a salon now and asks how much a haircut is and what style is and who's who. Um, so you find that obviously the people who've done the competitions, you know, they get more people coming in. I mean, I do personally as well, which, I'm trying to push my clients over to other people as well. But yes, I mean, we had a new, uh, one of our new stylists enter this year and he got through the regionals and that's definitely boost, boosted his column. Oh, absolutely. And in previous years, actually, they sent certificates when you've got through to the regionals and the finals. So we've had both of ours displayed in display in the salon, like before we did the refurbishment. <laughs> um, and they're somewhere else waiting to be put back out. Um, but yeah, we've always kind of really been proud of that. So yeah. Great. Yeah, it's good. And uh, just to round things up on your side, Alan, then, so whether there is a trophy at the end of this TVA journey in 2020 or not, what's one thing that you could say that the strange experience, as it's turned out, um, has taught you or made you realise about your relationship with hairdressing? Made me realise that I can use a computer, um, <laughs> which I didn't think that I could do before, <laughs> but I can actually create things on the computer and be absolutely fine. <laughs> Um, I'd love to take some credit for that as well by pushing the, 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 the need to create videos. So. <laughs> Again, the whole thing of doing the video for the regionals, it was a creative thing. And I really just absorbed myself in it. So definitely my creativity has been pushed. I've always loved doing men's hair. I normally do a mixture of everything in here, but I do especially love doing men's hair. And I've never entered a men's hair competition before. Um, so yeah, I think it's just given me a real boost confidence-wise. Great. So that's been really nice. And uh, do you think that you will enter next year based on the experience? Oh, absolutely. I absolutely will enter next year. Yeah, like I've really enjoyed. I didn't expect to get as far as I have. I'm really pleased that I have. Um, but it's all about working hard. It's not about luck. So I plan to work hard and I'll work even harder next year for it. Louise, it's that time. What is your message to Alan as he competes in the final stage? Oh my goodness. I've worked with Alan for 12 years now and I've seen him develop his skills. Um, he's a phenomenal hairdresser and such Stop an it. amazing, <laughs> and he has such an amazing eye for detail in everything that he does. So I'd like to say, you've got this. Thank you. I'm so proud of you. With all your hard work and dedication that you put, you deserve to win. Oh, Go Alan! <laughs> <laughs> I have to stay impartial, but lovely. <laughs> And as a roundup question for you as well, no matter the outcome of this year's contest, do you think you'll be putting forward stylists in 2021 to enter TVA? Absolutely. It's already in my diary. Yeah. <laughs> we do do it every year. Yeah, like, we do. Uh, yeah. It's like, it's, it's a thing that we do at the beginning of the year. We sit, having a team meeting, thinking, right, okay, TVA, who wants to do it? When we're going to put the, put the photographer, and we've already, by January, we've already decided what we're doing, who we're doing, <laughs> who we're using, and all of that. So, yeah, definitely. What, what kind of things do you do with the salon to, to support people who have entered? Oh, well, helping them get models as well. Giving them enough time to be able to sort of put things aside. Um, I'm very aware that it is their competition as well, so... 
if they need my advice, I'm always here on the sidelines. But if they don't, I let them get let them run as well. And when it comes to the photo shoot, I've done so many that I can go over and just say, if you just tweak this, you just tweak this. And um, I'm a very good cheerleader as well. <laughs> so obviously, usually we would be going physically going to the the regional events in Scotland and hopefully in London. And obviously then all oh, everything's taken care of, travel, everything as well, I'd like to ask. Yes, yeah. Obviously I'll, this year's... I'll look after all that. Not, not as <laughs> being needed, but we've always supported all the way through, by yeah. the way, so... Yeah. So the okay. financial side as well. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I mean. Everything's paid for for us, basically. Yeah. But yeah. I do look after them. Thanks. <laughs>